Assalamu alaikum, Shukri Doshak Mori Arpan, the Onagon is Shubit Chauvin and the Raskar program Politics and Beyond the Asia, Ami SM Ajum. Another program and Mulodushi Hulu Politics and Policy, Chesha, the People's Ne, Kotavata, the Tamara Politaki Shop from my Ebong Shetari Dharabahitore K program, A Porbo Shetai Korahoise, Ebong Shetaki Lokoreki Amra, Amade local exon politician and exon local residents, Kenya Shesi, the Rap Tadir Obimot Janaben, Ebong. Local uh, issues, such as the national, international, uh, joto uh, news, hot such issues, like that, we are going to talk about. And we are going to talk about the first thing. We are going to talk about the first thing. We are going to talk about the first thing. We are going to talk about the first thing. We are going to talk about the first thing. Thank you. Thank you. Our Bamed is a guest. I have to go to Napoli. I ask a program for Bangla English. I have to go immediate left. Matthew Smith. And he is the conservative MP candidate for Bethnalagin and Bo in 2015. So thank you very much, Matthew, to come here. Thank you. feeling to be here. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. It's a delight to be on your show and to be here with both yourself and Mr. Nur. And it's a pleasure to be before Channel uh, Europe. Okay. Thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you. Uh, as our program, according to our program rules, actually, what we do, we got a uh, quiz. I'm on the Goto Shop Tech, a quiz. Hello, Shay Quizer, a Bijoy Doshoker, now I'm Ragushana Kurbo. Among the Bijoy Hoys and other Connect Honobot, after the Rubimo DSN, among Etam other program. And reach Kurbe among other car on Pranita Kurbe. If I request to you, Matthew, this, uh, what we do actually in every program, we run a quiz. And obviously, it's our uh, viewers, they give their answers. And our last week quiz was uh, Newham, actually. There was a guest from Newham. Is it an inner borough uh, council or outer borough council in London? Uh, the question uh, answer if you can uh, select one of the uh, winner from the. Uh, it would be my honor to do so. Yeah, thank you very please. much. Thank you. Please. Thanks. Should I shake it first? Should I shake yeah, it first? Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the winner is uh, Sabret Sen from Hackney. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Sabret Singh Sen. Uh, you will get your uh, actually a gift uh, as soon as possible. We will uh, deliver to you. And thank you very much again. And um, you have given your uh, really time and, and valuable opinion and answer as well. Our program is Shrukuraga Amra Aishop Tahirje. Quiz to ask a sheta ke abar ek to shoran kore dite chai. Aar ei shob thar je quiz shere lo when did the Oslo Accords take place? A is 1983, B is 1993, and C is 2003. Apna ra apna apna the TV shamne scroll e dekte paben. Evang sheta ar answer te apna ra padhte paben P and B at channel i Europe dot TV. Thanks a lot. Now, Ashwalam Ramadar program in Mulong Shri Cholajabo, Cholajabo Prathome. I would like to ask uh, Moni Vai actually, as you know, this is uh, the first segment is our political opinion. Uh, do you have any news or political or it could be social, financial or anything local, national or international that poke you or uh, bring you attention last seven days or last or just a couple of weeks, anything? No, well, I'll say something uh, in general terms, um, which I observe and see throughout the whole world happening that um, all big capitalist countries and small capitalist countries, all countries are run by on one um, political system more or less. Yes, in every uh, country there is a yeah, economic system, system is one mm -hmm. and I find that exploitation is, is at is going very high, very exploitation at all level is happening by capitalist world, capitalist people. And people who are rich, they're getting richer. And those who are poorer and working class people, they're getting poorer throughout the whole world. They're being squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. Their earning is less. Uh, their 
our the conditions of job is is, is not very pleasant. And, and on that hand, they, on the other hand, those who are owners, they are making profit, and they don't pay so not too much taxes. They again evade tax by investing money and creating jobs in the in the name so of. So why do you think this imbalance situation, or uh, the, is this situation is divided between? It is. I, be, I, I believe. Uh, I believe it's because post 1989, there is a system which was opposed directly opposed to capitalist system, which is socialist system. Because of that um, threat, capitalist society, capitalist society were careful not to export too much and let the workers class enjoy with benefit out out of the out of the system. Well, uh, f there is a, there is a contradiction actually. So, so far, you can see if you see this, this 50 years before the world situation and 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 the poorer people and uh, richer people, there is a uh, is a gap. So, do you think this gap is increased or expanding? Yeah, widening. The gap is widening. Rich are getting richer, filthy rich, and poor are, are getting poorer. Their earning is less. The job opportunity, uh, job conditions are been squeezed and cartel now nowadays most of the jobs are offered on zero hours contract and um, and people um, people poor people working class people are suffering. So all right, you are talking about I mean this is a world context. Uh, if you think about in in, in Britain uh, uh, the current situation, um, it's exactly the same, same. I find the same, more, more or less same. Because her degree is varying. Well, maybe in English degree is less, but the other kind right. of degree is uh, less. That's fine. Uh, if I ask Matthew, actually, how do you give your opinion against, uh, as uh, Mr. Mani was telling us, is that uh, there is poor and richer, I mean, divergence is increasing day by day. Is well, it well it, it's always a pleasure to debate against people who have very strong views coming from the opposite end of the political spectrum. And, I, and, I, and in a way, I, I commend you on your very candid statement of, uh, of a very traditional uh, Marxist an, an analysis of society and an analysis of economic change. Um, I, 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 would, I would venture to say, actually, that, that, that in certain respects, what you're saying is probably almost the opposite of what has happened by certain measures. So, for example, you began by suggesting that the world is becoming more unequal and more and more wealth is being concentrated in the hands of fewer people and there's more exploitation and wages are going down and so on. I think actually if you uh, look at the industrialization and the development of economies like yes. the Chinese economy and the Indian economy, at the very least on, at a global level, actually what you may argue is that inequalities measured by, by the difference between the top and the bottom are actually narrowing. You could also say that technological and commodity changes driven by consumers um, and increasingly more so consumers in the third world as well is giving people access to ownership, it's giving people access to capital, it's giving p access to, to, to the means of participating in the international financial system in a way that has never existed before. Um, uh, the second point I'd make is that when you, you, you seem to juxtapo juxtapose, I should say, you seem, to, you, so you seem to distinguish the capitalist West from, right. the, from the Warsaw Pact socialist communist East. Um, I think if you look at the sociology of the Soviet Union and some of the ossified dictatorships that existed in, in Eastern and Central Europe, I think what you'd actually see is, is a far greater concentration of not only wealth, but political power in the hands of the same dynasties and the same uh, and party, again, yeah, but the Politburo members, again and again, precisely. And, and people don't um, have any, and, and any fair choice. I mean, precisely, no, no choice whatsoever. Uh, and and not, not, only, not, only an, not only an almost um, Tsarist concentration of wealth right at the very top of the income pyramid, but real poverty and desperation at the bottom as well. Poverty quite unknown in the West. Um, you know, uh, uh, and thirdly, I would say as well, you made a point about how since the collapse of the Soviet Union, uh, inequality has, uh, has widened. And I think mm -hmm. you, you rather eloquently said that, that during the Cold War, um, capitalist economies found it necessary to give the workers something by means of keeping them on board. You might actually say by certain measures, the total sum of welfare expenditure in the UK rose to an unprecedented level by 2010. I think we currently spend somewhere in the region of about 240 billion pounds on welfare, social security, pensions, and so on as a nation. That, was th that, that, that increase, that sustained increase was fully a uh, decade or so after the collapse of the Berlin Wall. So I'm not sure the welfare state in Western societies is, is some kind of opium of the masses, so to speak. I should commend you on your candidly Marxist analysis, but I'm not sure it's any more relevant than when Karl Marx predicted communist world revolution in 1867. Mm. Well, you have really burdened the discussions uh, very further uh, into details, intellectual discussions. Now, I'll, I'll just say that 
um, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the West has found easiest, easier way to export labor, cheap labor of the Eastern countries. And by exporting the poor people in Bangladesh, in China, in India, or other third world countries. What about the Soviet the, Union's exploitation of Afghanistan? But in they did exploit as well at the same time. I mean, if you think about the exploitation, if you look at the, the East, you see how it's changing. In India, Bangladesh is, Bangladesh is one of the, you mentioned right. Bangladesh so, is one of the countries called That's NLF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I think uh, it, is, it was the right, the direct, right decision. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I, uh, maybe I'm, I'm defending <laughs> as you mentioned you Bangladesh. Building so, a, uh, yeah, building one side. Yeah. No, not one side. I mean, I no. think it was the right decision to go, I mean, it's not going behind to a uh, uh, Soviet style, all of, all of this. No, that's why it collapsed, no. because it was something wrong in the system. Now, that's why it collapsed. So, so you know, accept that as, that as a wrong? No, no, no of course. The, so, if, so, by, so by if, definition, it was no alternative, if, if, it was wrong. If Kalmas would have found out the alternative one for profit in his post colonial uh, Kabbalist society. But if you want one, if you if you want one, if you want one hundred percent, if you if you if you if you want one hundred percent socialism, what was wrong with the Soviet Union? Because the the Kalmar couldn't find a, a alternative word for profit. So it they they failed to failed. they hmm. failed profit, to get which then then found out in seventy nine and which he started. Sure, 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 surely the real surely the real um, precipitate of the collapse of organized socialism in, in Eastern Europe. I, and I suppose also the precipitate of the sort of semi-capitalization of the Chinese economy mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, um, this is a good, a good precise, precise story. Yeah, precisely, yeah. precisely. Was, um, was actually popular capitalism. And, and, and surely, it was the uh -huh. surely it was the demand of the masses in countries like Russia for Wrangler jeans and Levi jeans and just, just a piece of the, uh, <laughs> of the prosperity enjoyed yeah. in the West. Well, well but, um, you see, this is another discussion we're going, to, going, uh, going through. Um, why the why Soviet system collapsed? There's so many reasons, but one mm. reason was that they concentrated too much on uh, industries based on arms. Mm. They didn't mm. go for consumer industries. Mm. As a result, the so that was that was an accidental. That was by necessity of being a socialist they, regime. They invested yes, less That's the way they run, actually. Yes. Yes. They, they invested less money on on agriculture, less money on consumer technologies. Mm. It's, 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 it's the the modernization. The, the, everything was yeah. military established base. You're, you're, yeah, you're, 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 you're absolutely right that the, that the unsustainable defense burden in the Soviet yeah. Union was a major cause of its eventual collapse. It collapse yeah. um, and in a way, a, a vindication of Ronald Reagan's um, strategy as President of the United States and Margaret Thatcher as well. No, but, 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 but with regards to the outsized defense sector in the Soviet Union, that was necessarily going to be the case because the Soviet Union was committed to expanding worldwide socialist revolution. Yes. So it always was going to be supporting no, proxies in Africa. You see, what happened, Caribbean. what happened, the Soviet Russia got trapped by Western um, policy of, you know, inviting them to competition. So, the so, Star so, so they, 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 surely they trapped themselves in Afghanistan. Exactly. Surely they trapped exactly. themselves exactly. in Africa. That, 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 that was the biggest mistake for them. I'm not defending them. I'm not defending them. But yeah. what I'm saying that after the collapse of the Soviet Union, when uh, Western capitalism was established as the subject of of, of, the, of, the, of the human kind, then exploitation turned into a different level. Mm. Before it was exploitation, but with a with a human face, with a uh, what do you call what do you call it? Um, Good faith and uh, uh, sim what's the word coined by um, capitalism you know, with an acceptable face? Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, then what happened? Now, the one we can see the world that capitalism is not being challenged by um, socialism at the moment. Like a free run. Now exploitation is going to the extreme. It, it, every big, every capitalist, they work together in a, in, in a syndicate form. They go to a country, they exploit. If, if they're taxed, they will run away from there, this country. Would you give an example, good example? In India. India, what's yeah. India, India is rising. Because, because India is one of the... Uh, is, is yeah. a, their co growth has gone down below Bangladesh. Well, uh, because uh, capitalists... No, they, they are the they they rising power, power actually. India, India is one of the rising powers. It's, it's, it's a big fine. country. That's fine. Mm. But their growth has gone down below... We love Bangladesh. Also, well, uh, Bangladesh is, is oh, the Bangladesh plus. economy and Indian economy is different. I mean, India no. is a huge, why, vast no, 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 country. And why India suffered? Why India suffered? Because Indian government went to tax capitalists. 
the foreign capitalists, foreign investors. But, 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 but why, why would the Indian economy benefit from those companies being taxed more heavily if they'd stayed there? No, so if, they, if, 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 the, if the Indian government was taking money out of the cash flows of companies, I mean, bearing in mind that a, a corporation is really just a bundle of contracts, what you're talking about yeah. is taking money out of a series of relationships that ties together employees, employers, shareholders, and so on. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if, if, government, if, if, those, if, they, if, if India was the only economy on the planet, um, and the Indian government succeeded in whacking successful Indian corporations with higher taxes, all it would be doing is taking money out of savings, investment, uh, inc employees' incomes, eventually you'd be taking no, money directly out of growth. And it would when, be, when, so, uh, you'd, you'd end up with an economy that was sp that, whose government was spending more no, and whose when, private sector was spending less, no, which wouldn't be in the interest of economic development. Well, when you're talking about a rising economic country, mm. your taxation policy has to be very, very carefully designed. Has to be carefully mm. designed. Well, in all countries, but not, 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 not just in, country, in all countries. In Western countries, when economy is developed, mm. system is developed, everything is in right places, then you can play around. But in a, in a poorer country like rising um, India, you need taxes to pay the poorer people, to pay poor and help poorer people to live decently. So when in no government, when to tax them, the foreign capitalists or the local capitalists, they refuse to work. Sure, it's the growth. And as a result, Indian growth has gone down to 4%. GDP growth has gone down to 4%. Um, Bangladesh has, has did 7%. Or, yeah. Mm. Why? Because. Well, well again, I agree that taxes damage growth, and that's a salutary lesson on the uh, demerits of higher taxes, isn't it, really? Well, I, 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 don't, I don't support I mean, Frederick von Hayek. I don't, yeah. his, I don't support his liberalism. Yeah. I, I, no, I, 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 can, I, can, I can tell, I can tell. But <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> one thing whenever I think it's, it's, a, it's a, very, a very fascinating topic, actually. We can discuss maybe again and again. And mm. if you can say something very quick, because it's, it's, as I said, our first segment is a very mm. short time. Mm. Uh, Matthew, any, anything that, uh, any local issue, local or national, that uh, poke you or that, that mm. bring you attention uh, yeah. during this uh, week or, or, or two? Well, I, I feel almost embarrassed to lower the tone of the discussion from the from from the from the, the pantheon of uh, the history of political <laughs> yes. thought that Mr. Nir yeah. introduced. Maybe, maybe, maybe we will uh, once uh, we will have uh, we'll have a tea tea conversation. Of course, about, uh, of course, of course. Time is very of short course, of course. Uh, well, following on from, from, from what Mr. Nir was saying uh, and the theme of class struggle, um, what I was th what I think is very interesting, and one thing I've observed over the last few months, is is evidence of class dealignment in politics in Bethel Green and Bow. So people moving away from the traditional party of the left that they've historically sponsored and patronized, the Labour Party. Uh, and I think what's very interesting is that lots of communities in Bethlehem, Green and Bow are shopping around a lot more to look at different political parties to see what they have to offer. Uh, and so I would say that, that that was one of the most fascinating aspects so of the... So demographic change, you said? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, demographic change, but also in particular people moving away from a traditional class-based view of politics. People I don't think in Bethlehem, Green and Bow or Tower Hamlets are thinking so much about coming from a certain background, therefore I'll vote Labour. It's a very They're good point. Why do you think people are changing this uh, attitude? I, I, think, I think some of it is, is to do with... What is diving I, I think some of it is to do with push factors. I think people feel after long-term Labour incumbency that the Labour Party doesn't necessarily speak for them so much anymore. I think people in Bethlehem, Green and Bow uh, are thinking more in terms of, in aspirational terms, I think they begin to look more uh, at parties in terms of what they can deliver for the advancement of their families and their communities rather than uh, uh, their, their, their class as a whole. And I think people are beginning to shop around. I think that um, so, uh, most obviously Tower Hamlets first has, uh, has, has, has had a huge impact in Bethlehem, Green and Bow. I think the Conservative Party also has had a, a major impact in Bethlehem, Green and Bow. And I think what we saw on the ground in the 2014 council elections was a real interest and a real hunger for uh, a, a moderate centrist alternative to the moribund parties of the left. And in the Conservative Party, they found that party to, to come and speak to. All right. So what is the plan for you? I mean, as is, obviously, we would like to congratulate from our, uh, on behalf of our TV and, and, and obviously... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. ...from our viewers. You are, are selected from, elected from your party to run the 2015. Uh, what, what is your plan, actually? I mean, what you can bring something uh, mm. new. As you said, it's people are looking for change or hungry. Mm. Uh, as you mentioned, it's, it's people are changing their behavior. Mm. Well, there are two ways of, of looking at that. One is, my, is what kind of a candidate I would be, and the other is what kinds of policies would I advocate. 
uh, the type of candidate I would be would be an immediately accessible and accountable candidate. I'm a candidate that believes firmly through experience uh, of, of, spe of, of meeting people on the doorstep and speaking to people in communities, not relying just upon leafleting and, and on, on okay. correspondence. Uh, I can see you counting down. Am I? Count, yeah. No, yeah, sorry, it's, it's time. Sure, no, of course, of course, short. of course. Yeah, well, I, and also, of course, national policies that are relevant to Bethlehem Green in both education reform, welfare reform. Uh, uh, housing policy and so on, as well as local priorities too. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Matthew. We'll come back maybe later part of the our program. Uh, uh, we would like to thank our, our viewers and uh, uh, our, we will be back uh, within a very short time after this very short commercial break. And I want to share that with you. Our next segment, our Vishash, our Rohito, Kub, or a lot of it, and world affairs. Yes, that our local community is very expected. A topic is next. Next segment, our our Madhesh, our Madhesh, share that with you. Assalamualaikum.